Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anirudhik Kumar, Assistant Professor IRE, Hyderabad. So in this module, we will see energy method of analysis, which already we had seen, right? So by means, uh, previously also we had seen that how to use the energy method. So wherever the complex complex structure is there by the complementary energy method, we can get even more accurate result. So in this case also, the thin plate is there. So we will use the same energy method. Okay, so energy method of analysis means by uh, how we will analyze or how we will find the deflection on these things by using the energy method. So first, the application of the principle of stationary value of the total potential energy of the plate and its external loading yields two type of solution for thin plate bending problem. So whatever the application of the principle of the stationary value is there of what the total potential energy of the plate and its external so just see total potential energy of the plate and its external loading means when we will apply the load then what happen two types of solution for thin plate bending problems are there the first producer produces an exact solution so two types are there in that what happen first produces an exact solution because of the the form of deflected shape of the plate is known means if deflected form is known then we will get the exact solution if that is not exactly known then how we will get so for that the second the Rayleigh wrist method assumes an approximate deflected shape in the form of a series with a finite number of turn to chosen two so Rayleigh wrist method we had seen Rayleigh was the forward for infinite number of terms or infinite series but by combining the Rayleigh and wrist that becomes the for the finite now we can just put the limit up to what we can and according to the we can choose so that is here so this by second method by Rayleigh wrist okay by the approximate deflection because here if the so first method is if exact deflection is known then we will get the exact solution second case is Rayleigh wrist method by that if exact deflection is not known then how to find by using the Rayleigh wrist method in that what we are considering a series of finite number so really is remember it's a for finite really only for infinite so really is for finite number of term terms chosen to satisfy the boundary condition of the problem and also to give the type of deflection pattern expected so now whatever the deflection types are expected that can be found by the really wrist method also and that should satisfy the boundary condition of the given problem the total potential energy of a structural system was defined as the internal let's see here, was defined as the internal or strain energy of the structural member so whatever the strain energy is stored in the body or you can see the internal energy in the structural member or in that those members plus the potential energy of the applied loading so let's see the total energy will be what how much strain energy or internal energy is there and next the how much load we applied and because of that whatever the potential energy is there so some of these two is some of potential energy because of the applied load and next the strain energy or internal energy will be the total energy you will now derive expression for these quantities for the loading cases discussed in the previous section so now we will derive for the first what for strain energy then potential energy and then the total potential energy we will see here so now first we will see what strain energy so strain energy produced by bending and twisting right how much strain energy will produce if bending or we will bend that one or we will twist then how much strain energy will be there and how to find that one so deflection normal to the loaded surface of the plate area of interest in thin plate analysis so let's see a deflection normal to the loaded surface so whatever the loaded surface is there suppose this is the surface right over this we are loading here right then what will be the normal so this will be the normal so that time this we will consider now if suppose this is the plate here we are loading so on this plate whatever the normal will be there that we have to consider for thin plate analysis as with cylinder beam, cylinder beam is what? Cylinder beam is radius to the length should be very large. Then it is called the slenderness ratio. So whatever the beam we will consider that having a small radius and longer in length. 
So the cylinder beam, these are assumed to be primarily due to bending action. So shear strain and soldering or stretching of the plate plates middle plane are ignored. Miss what happened in that case? Either by compression or expansion, whatever we will do, the middle plane of that one that is called the neutral plane, right? Before bending and after bending, that also remains same. It's before applying the force and after applying the force, that should remain same. That is called just a middle or neutral plane. So in that case, what we will do? We will ignore that one. As a result, we only need to calculate the strain energy produced by bending and twisting because this will be applicable to all loading cases due to the preceding assumption. So because of the earlier assumption, what happened? This is valid for all or applicable for all. And with that, we can find the by strain energy. Okay. We are only considering the effect of shear and direct strain. So here you will see only the shear strain and direct strain on plate deflection. The stresses that causes them must also be considered. Means the stresses because of which the shear strain produce and the stresses because of which direct strain produces those also need to consider because if we will not consider the shear stress then shear strain is not possible if we will not consider the direct stress then direct strain will not produce hence we cannot find so that time means if we want to find shear strain and direct strain then we have to consider direct shear stress as well as direct stress so now let's see how to find that one in figure, consider the element xy of a thin plate EB as shown in elevation in the axial plane. So now this is the plate is there in the where in xy plane. So this is origin, this is x, this is y. So in xy plane, this plate is there having the dimension what? A, B. So they are A, B means this is A cross B. The plate size is of A cross B. Okay, bending moment Mx per unit length applied to its y h. Okay, result in a slope change between its e ints equal to. So now along y h, whatever. If suppose this is x and this is y, then we will apply this one. So depending upon what you are taking, this you can take also that as y and this as x. Then you have to apply moment here. So whatever wherever you will take along the y h, you have to apply. You can apply for the axis also, then in terms of x, you have to find. Hmm. So as y is results in a slope change between its ints equals to del 2 w by del x square into bx. Now in terms of x is if you will apply, then this will be del y along the x if you will then. However, because we considered the moment mx to be positive in the sense, so whatever this is, mx is there. Right, so this is a C R. This is M X Y. This is M X Y. Here, M X Y is there at some angle. The C R. This is by how much it will get deflected. That is del omega by or del W by del Y. Where W is the deflection, or you can say displacement. So if original is del W by del Y, then this side what happened? This side the original plus with some small changes. So by what amount? That is del by del X of del W by del y into del x. Okay. So this is a small fraction of this part. So differentiation of this. So this will be the total for this side and for this side it will be del w by del y. Okay. So now for this we have to find. So see this figure gives how that angle will get deviated. So just see uh, this uh, is by this reflection is del w by del x. And this side, how much it will get deflected that here, del w by del x, this one, plus by some amount from here to here, whatever the deflection is there. So by this amount, it will get added. So at this point, more deflection will be there by what amount? By do of do x del w by del x into del x. Right. So by this much amount here, the more deflection will be there. Okay. Now the bending strain energy due to Mx is then. So bending strain, that will be what? First force into bending strain energy, half mb square, you can say that also. Where m is the mass. So in similar way, we can write the bending strain energy as half Mx into del y, and minus the Cr. This one, what is this one? The bending moment 
per unit applied load to its y is result in a slope change between. So this gives the slope, right? So for that only same half mx into del y into minus del del 2 wy del x square into dou x. Sorry, dou 2 x square and to del x. This is for what mx. Similarly, in the y z plane, the contribution of m y to the bending strain energy is so now just wherever x is it, that will be y and y will be x. So see here, half mx was there for x. So now that will be half m y and del y was there. So now this will be del x. Here del 2 del y, del y square, okay, into del y. So the minus del 2 del y, del y square into do y. Sorry, do y square into del y. So now bending a strain energy due to mx, bending a strain energy due to m y we have. Now the strain energy due to the twisting moment per unit length, due to the twisting un moment per unit length, that is mxy, applied to the del y axis of the element is obtained from the figure B. So now you see from the figure B, with this we can find for mxy. That will cause the twisting. The relative rotation of del y axis, okay, with del 2 w by del x del y into del x. So now this will be differentiated with for x and y. So del 2 w by del x del y into del x. So that the corresponding strain energy is now because of this here this will change. Mx was there. So with respect to x double differentiation. And y is there. So now y. Now what we are taking that in m y x or m x y. So now the same will be here. I am half m x y into delta y. Okay, into del two w y del x into del y into del x. So do sorry do two w y do x into do y into del x. So this is for what m x y. This is because of m x y. Finally, the contribution of the twisting moment, the twisting moment m x y on the del x is, is in a similar fashion just for this is for right we are corresponding strain energy in where in the del y age now in for m x y so half of m x y del x into del 2 w y del x del y into del y so now the see here this was along the do y age right so now this is along the do axis. So again, wherever x is there, replace to y. So now you see mxy is, this was del y. So now this becomes del x, del 2 w y del x del y, del 2 w y del x del y, and this was del x. So this becomes del y. So now we found for along the edge del y and along the edge del x. By what? Contribution of the twisting moment. Now, the total strain energy of the element from the bending and twisting is thus half of minus mx del 2 just by this one. I just add all. So half of minus m. So just see here. How many are there? This, 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 and this one. Just add with the proper sign. Right? Whatever sign is there, just add with the proper sign. So just see here. Half of. So in this case, what happened? Del y del x is there. So just see half is here in this also, in this also, in this also, so half common, right? Now del y and del x. So del y into del x, similarly here del x into del y, del y, del x, del x, del y. So means del x, del y, we can take count from all the four term. Now what is left? mx into this term. Here my into this term. Similarly here mxy into this term. Here mxy into this term. So now these two is same. So we can add these two and these two are with minus sign. So now let's see here. Half of minus mx del 2, do, sorry, do 2 w by do x square. So this is for this one, right? mx. Then plus this one. So minus sign is there. So plus and minus becomes minus. So now this will be minus my do 2 w by do y square plus these two are positive. These two are positive, so this will get added. So this becomes 2 mxy 
dot dot 2wy do x square so now let's see 2mxy do 2wy do x do y into del x del y because this we have taken already common substituting for mx my and mxy from the above equation gives the total strain energy of the element is now just substitute the, the value of mx my right and mxy which we found here or previously also we found that mx my value so just substitute that mx my and mxy value and after substituting what you will get this is here in that earlier also we had seen d have some etqy to help this value was there for d so directly they have taken here d so d by 2 into what del 2 wy del x square whole square plus del 2 wy del y square whole square plus 2 v where v is the displacement or you can say deflection along the y direction del 2 wy del x square into del 2 wy del y square plus 2 into 1 minus b whole into del 2 wy del x into del y whole square so this is the value of this one so for here after substituting mx value after substituting my value here and after substituting this mxy value we got this one and into del x into del y so now just rearrange this one or after that multiply or just to see whatever is there of the same type collect one so now just see here del 2 wy del x square plus del 2 wy del y square right into 2 del w del x square will be there so just see here this you can write can you write a square where a is del 2 wy del x square plus b square where b is del 2 wy del y square so a square plus b square plus 2 ab we require so plus 2 into this into this where is that one that is here right so for that we can write this as a plus b whole square so this is a plus b whole square right so now let's see one more thing here 2v into this is there right and from here if you will multiply then we will get 2 into 1 minus v into del 2 wy del x del y whole square so after simplifying this or you can just say after taking this common what you will get this stuff so a plus b whole square plus b into 2ab because this v term we cannot remove so just add and subtract this addition 2 of del 2 wy del x square and into del 2 wy del y square so now third term here just i am adding what del 2 wy del x square into del 2 w by del y square similarly we have to subtract this also so minus del 2 w by del x square into del 2 w by del y square so by taking this and these two this becomes a square plus b square plus 2 ab so just put here two also a square plus b square plus 2 ab will give you a plus b whole square so now that is here a plus b whole square now these terms plus this term after taking common will give you this term right and dy2 is already common that is a constant right so now we got this one the total strain energy so that is sum of what internal energy or you can say the strain energy on so additional what what we are applying the force because of that whatever the energy is stored in that one that is in the form of potential energy so sum of strain energy plus potential energy will give the total strain energy so now so now we have this one as the total strain energy potential energy already we found now just add both you will get the total energy hence the total strain energy u of the rectangular plate a cross b is now from here just integrate this one so u equals to d by 2 zero integral of 0 to a into integral of 0 to b because both the plane we have to take right like this is there so this side is a this side is b so from here to here also so that is for first plane 0 to a when with respect to x we will differentiate right and in this case 0 to b when with respect to y we will differentiate so along this also along this also so overall 0 to b into integral of 0 to a will give and then this equation del 2 wy del x square plus del 2 wy del y square whole square 
minus 2 into 1 by minus v into del 2 w by del x square into del 2 w by del y square minus del 2 w by del x into del y whole square whole multiplied by dx into dy. So this will be the what? This will be the total strain energy u. So now we have the strain energy. Note that if the plate is subjected to pure bending only, so now pure bending is there, means pure bending, so twisting is zero. So now mxy is zero, right? So put that mxy zero in the previous equation and del 2 w by del x del y will also be what? Zero because of pure bending. There is no twisting. So the twisting related term all there, that becomes zero. So that above equation becomes so now del 2 w y del x del y, where is that one? Del 2 w y del x del y. So this term, this term will be 0. Right. So now u equals to dy2, 0 to a, 0 to b. So this also here del 2 w y del x del y is there. Right. So this term, after that expansion of this, so del 2 w y del x square plus the whole square plus del 2 w y del y whole square plus 2 v del 2 w y del x square plus del 2 w y del y square is the same here or you can say in this equation. Okay, if we will put what del 2 w y del x y as 0, right? So this whole term will be 0. Only these three terms will be there. The same just go reverse back or you can just come and substitute here del 2 w y del x del y. You will get these three terms that is <coughs> here. So say into dx into dy. Now just integrate 1 by 1 first for y 0 to b. That time x will be constant. Next case for x, that time y will be constant and put the limit 0 to a. You will get the total strain energy u. Okay. So now we have the total strain energy u. Okay. So now just see once again quickly. So here, by energy method, what we have? A slope change between its, what? Mx per unit. So that's the bending moment Mx per unit length applied to its y's. When we are applying along the y's, then with respect to x, it will be there. So del 2 w by del x square into, sorry, do, do, do 2 w y do x square into del x. That is the slope. Similarly, for y, what will be there along the y's is there. So along the x's, along x, Yes, this will be del 2 w y del sorry do y square into del y. So this will be the slope along the axis. Okay. Hmm. Now what we are doing? How we are considering the moment m x to be positive, right? So now that m x to be positive, the change in slope or relative rotation, the elements in this negative and the slope decreases with increasing in this once we will decrease the slope by our decrease in that uh, by increasing the x then what happened slope will be decreased why because of its negative symbol the bending strain energy due to mx is then calculated so with that we can find the bending energy so now let's see here at this side del omega by del y is there that deflection or displacement is there so this side by small amount it will increase what fraction of that one so that is differentiation of this whatever is here that will get added so del w by sorry do w by do y plus do by do x of do w by do y into del x. So this will be so this side the deflection. Now first what happened? We have to find the strain energy for m x m y then for m x y. So now first for what m x? So for m x it will be what half m x del y because for m x we are finding and here this is the slope of along y h. So, so this one del minus del 2 w y del x square into del x. So that is mx because mx we are applying along parallel to y axis and my applying we are along parallel to x axis. So same. Similarly in the y z plane the contribution of m y to the bending strain energy is what? Half m y. So wherever x is there that will get replaced by y. Simple is there. No need to bug up and all. Just see in which axis or along which we are taking. If mx we are taking, then 
the differential part will be along x and it will be multiplied by delta y. Right? Once you know the first equation, then second equation along the in yz plane is there and my we are finding. So wherever x is there, replace with y. So now let's see here half of my into now here y is there, replace with x. Now this is del 2 w y, sorry, do 2 w y do x square into del x. So now this do 2 w will be there by do x square will change to do y square. Del x will change to del y. So now we have mx m y. Now what is required? Mx y. So this is because of the bending. Now because of the twisting. So here we will apply the twisting concept. Right. So now let's see the twisting. The strain energy due to the twisting moment per unit length. So twisting moment is m x y because in that plane only we can twist. Not uh, suppose this is there. Right. So we will we can bend like this along x axis or along y axis. So this is when. But now along the plane, if we will move, means what we will do? We have to do like this. That plane should move. Here, that axis is moving. X is moving. Here, y is moving. Right. But along the plane, if this plane will move this way, then we cannot see its bend. It's a getting twisted. So let's see here. Even my palm also is getting twisted. So now this is the twisting moment. And that is mxy. So now mxy apply to the del y h. Similarly, again, mxy for the del x h. So first mxy for del y h. So now we are taking for del y. So just same here, half mxy into del y plus do 2 w y do x do y into del x. Right. Taking along y, so x will be there only this del y will multiply. Now taking along del x h, so same will be there wherever x is there, change to y. So now after in taking along del x h, half mxy into del x into do 2 w y do x do y into del y. So these are the what? Strain energy. Now the total strain energy will be what? Sum of all the four energies. So now just see here, these two terms are negative and these two terms are positive. So just after adding, what we will get? This one. The total strain energy is this one. Now here just put the value of mx, my, mxy that already we found in the previous video. From there that you can just substitute directly here and take this common this also divide to we add see what is the value. After substituting and simplifying, what you will get? This one. Right. Now, after this also, further, after rearranging, what you will get? Here, this term. So from this, after rearranging, we will get this one that I already showed you. Now, here is the total strain energy U of the rectangular plate A cross V. Is the what? Sum of all the strain energy from here to here along this plane, so from here along 0 to B, because this is Y, this is X, so 0 to A. It's along this full, we have to find. So first, this will vary, find for that one, then this will vary, find for that one, that will be the sum of the total strain energy. So U equals to D by 2, 0 to A, 0 to A, and next, or this is Y axis, so 0 to B, and this is 0 to A. So from that limit, we have to integrate. Note that if the plate is subjected to pure bending only. So now, just see here. This is the common derivation. Yes. When plate experiencing twisting as well as bending moment, then what will be the total strain energy? So this is the common. Now next, what happened? If it's subjected to pure bending only, then what happened? Mxy will be zero. Right. So put wherever is there that mxy as 0 or that you can do in this equation also. So mxy will be 0 means what? Del 2 wy del x del y or do 2 wy do x do y also will be 0. So put here that as 0. So only these three term will left or you can put here and further simplify just in the reverse way you will get these three term. Right. So that is when mxy equals to 0 and del 2 wy del x del y equals to 0. Now just imagine if instead of pure bending, if pure twisting will be there, just imagine if pure twisting will be there, then what happened? Then this term will be 0. Then this term will be 0. This term also will be 0. This term also will be 0. Only this term will be. So minus of 2 into 1 minus v del 2 wy del x del y 
whole square because that time for the pure twisting mx and my will be zero only the mxy will be there okay so this is u okay so again reference you can just say or you can just go through the aircraft structure written by max and that is the, your textbook so if you have any doubt you can just comment on the video or you can contact me i will clarify your doubt okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates